to stylish Nigeria YouTube channel and I want to say thank you to all of our subscribers thank you all for supporting the channel if you are new to the channel you are highly and very welcome if you have not subscribed to stylish Nigeria YouTube channel please I would appreciate if you hit on the subscribe button subscribe it actually takes nothing to subscribe that's just the truth don't pay money for it just hit subscribe okay thank you and then like this video also yes liking it is just like a way of appreciating what i did just hit on the like button actually takes nothing also to like the video okay so in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to cut and sew a handkerchief sleeve so it is a very simple sleeve if you look at it it is a simple sleeve but this pattern also you can use it for a skirt you can use it for a gown it is the same process for those of you that don't know how to cut an handkerchief flare so this is a video that you should watch it is simple i'm going to make it in the very simple way we're going to be using the freehand method okay so the first thing we're going to do we're going to draft our basic bodies that we're going to draft our basic sorry i said basic bodies like seriously the first thing we're going to do we're going to draft our basic sleeve yeah that's what i meant to say okay so and then we'll do the handkerchief part it is simple if you want to register up our online classes you can see my number scrolling through the screen just send me a message on whatsapp and then i'll give you the details of the classes that we have available okay so now we're going to start when drafting this kind of sleeve what you are going to put into consideration is the length of the sleeve where you actually want your, your sleeve to be so mine I, is going to be long up to uh, my wrist why i said wrist that's the dangling part is going to be long up to i'm going to make that part that is the full sleeve is going to be like 20 inches so what i mean by 20 inches that's the length so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to cut the top part the top part is going to be 10 and then this down part also is going to be 10 the handkerchief flare is going to be 10 so for drafting a basic sleeve, it is a simple process. What you need is the length. Like I told you earlier on, I said I need 10 inches for this. So since I, I want 10 inches, you are going to add your allowance, your stitching allowance. So it does not get truncated. So I'm just going to make it 12 inches now. So that's the length of the sleeve. And then from this part, the next thing you are going to check is the round sleeve measurement. How um, round, so that's the round part. So for the round parts of my sleeve, I'm going to be making use of eight inches so you put make sure that you have that in in your that's it feel falls into your your fabric that you measured out and then after that i'm just going to leave it i was just trying to check and then i'll come to this part of my sleeve so we're going to create our round sleeve measurement so to create the round sleeve measurement from the top part of your sleeve you are just going to come down by five inches or 4.5 depends on how much uh, height you want for the sleeve you know some sleeves are very high so this i'm just going to go with 4.5 inches and then from this 4.5 inches point i'm going to blend into my armhole my round armhole measurement so my round armhole for this sleeve is 10 inches that's my round armhole so i'll come to this point like this and then i'll just make a curve like this so you see what we have. So you see we have already have our our curve already. So this is where my armhole is going to stop. So but this you just need that extra there like that. So from this point now, so we're going to take our sleeve. That's the round sleeve, like I was telling you initially, which is eight inches. That's eight plus eight which is 16 so you add your allowance to it you can add one inch allowance to it so we'll do nine so from this point like this make sure that that round um your armhole you are not taking it from there because if you take it from there you're not going to have any allowance so that is why we had this small excess so from that excess now i'm going to just take it which is about 1.5 inches so from this point i'm just going to do this like this so you can see just take it like a slant you understand to so those points like this so once you've gotten your slant the next thing you're going to take the down part of your sleeve that's where the flare is going to join to your to your straight sleeve how many inches so for mine that part is actually 15 inches so you divide i'm so sorry i said 15 inches that part is actually 13 inches so you divide your divide it into two. I have 6.5. So I'm going to still add stitching allowance to it. 
make sure you always add stitching allowance so i'll just mark it like this so this is just like a way of drafting a basic sleeve you see it is simple and easy so we're going to cut this out right now so when cutting make sure you add uh, i'm just trying to double check okay so i'm going to go ahead i'll cut now So if you have been following me for a while, you will know my pattern of cutting. I actually don't cut on my exact lines that I draft. So that actually helps a lot. So you see our basic sleeve is here. Now, the next thing now, I'm going to cut the handkerchief part. So for the handkerchief, like I said, I said I'm doing 10 inches. It is a simple process. So my fabric is folded into four. You just get the fabric that you want to use. Make sure it is folded into four like this. There is a trick with this handkerchief um, cut. It is a simple um, technique. What you are going to do, the parts, you are just going to use the length of your handkerchief. That's how dangling you want it to be. Like I said, I said I'm using 10 inches. So you come to the center part like this. After folding, make sure the fabric is folded into four from this part like this. So you see, I have my 10 inches already. So I'm just going to go ahead and mark the 10 inches. Make sure all of the measurements are the same that is what will give it a nice flow so from that point also i'm marking 10 inches if you notice all of the edges are 10 10 inches and then from here also i'll mark 10 inches also to so make sure Ten inches and then ten inches. So that is that. And then I'll go ahead and cut out. Okay, so after cutting it out, the next thing I'm going to do now, remember our round sleeve measurements. That's on the wrist part where we're going to have. So, like I said, I said it's 13 inches. So, for this, I'm going to cut it. It's going to be exactly 13. I'm not going to add any allowance to it. So, that's my so my 13, which is six and a half. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tear it into four. So, once I shear it into four, divide it into four rather. So, this is what I'm going to have. So I'm just going to come and I'm, I'm having about like 1.5. So I'm just going to go ahead. I'll use 1.5 to, to cut it out because I don't want it to be too big. You can use your normal flame formula also for this. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up now. After opening it up funny, you see, it is looking like a square, right? So that's it. I'm just going to go ahead and open up more, just for the sake of this tutorial. So you see what we have so after opening up your handkerchief like this you are going to take this side you notice you are not going to stand it like this you understand so you just pick any of the points and then you do this so you see so guys you can see our handkerchief so you see if it is a gown now you have to just fix this so i hope you can see it and then you see once you fix it here like this it is going to be looking like this so i'll go ahead now I'll go and I'll go and stitch it. So before then, if you want to line this, all you are going to do is you cut the same exact fabric and then turn it. But this I'm not going to add lining, so I'm just going to fold the four edges of my handkerchief. I'll fold the four edges, and then for this I'll join on the side, and then I would fix this like this on it. So after fixing it, so you, like I said, just pick a point okay guys so you can see so i finished teaching 
my sleeve and then I've fit stitched the edge of my sleeve. So the next thing, like I said, just pick a point and then I'm going to fix. So you can see how it is looking beautiful already. So you can see. So I just go ahead, I'll join it and then you see how it is looking finally. Okay guys, so at the end of the day, so you can see how our handkerchief sleeve looks like. So you can see it is looking, it really looks really beautiful. So you can see. So like I said, if you are using this for a skirt, it's just the same process, the same way. So if you find this video helpful, please hit on the like button to let me know you appreciate what I did. And if you have not subscribed, please subscribe to Stylish Niger YouTube channel. So thank you so much. I'll see you in my next video.